All right, you've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail, you know why you're here. Let's just get right on into this box because I am so excited to open it that I can't wait any longer. Oh, I'm so stoked for this. What is inside this box is something that has been on the way for well over a year at this point. We have none other than the next and very close to final sample of the Alienation Vice Grip Break. So, what we're looking at here is a sample bag mainly of the things that will come with these brakes when they're new. Trying to figure out, you know, what do we include with them and at what level, like, do we need to include certain things? So maybe a little bit of input from you guys would be good on this as well. So before we get to the exciting part in these brakes, set these aside for a second. Let's look at the accessories and things that come with them. So first of all, we have the bolts to mount these brakes. Then we have two different straddle cable options, which I feel like probably isn't fully necessary, so we may not have both of these included. We may just include the one with both ends because if you need one without an end on it, I guess you could just cut this one. This one does seem to be a little bit longer. I'm curious your guys' thoughts on this as well. Do you, is it necessary to have both of these? I don't personally feel like it is necessary to have both included, so let me know. Then we also have a front brake barrel adjuster set up because these brakes are made to work as fronts. So this goes into the brake like that. You've all seen that. So the front brake barrel adjuster, then we have two different NARPs on here. I feel like we've come to the conclusion that these NARPs may end up being the chromoly version of the NARPs. So let me know your thoughts on that as well. It looks like one of these is aluminum and one of these is chromoly. If you have a preference on that, let me know because this is how we, you know, this is part of the process and it's cool that I can include you guys as part of this process because it's like, what do you want to come with a brake setup? So then we have the cable hanger, which is actually a really cool design. It's got this slope on it. Then the pinch screw, set screw. <laughs> and then next is something that not 100% set on yet, but I think that we're gonna get there with it. And that is a female but male brake pad. They are clear and black. So it's the black backing plastic with the clear part on there, very thick. Thick with two C's. Very thick material on these. So I'm going to be testing to see how these work on the brakes themselves. And I mean, what further delay do we need but to look at the brakes themselves. So we've taken a little bit of a look at these when I was building my bike, but not <clears throat> a full look at them. And these are fully CNC'd brake arms with bearings on the back and on top of all of that these on the final production run will be seven series aluminum basically what we set out to do with these brakes is just make the best possible brakes that we could that would work with <clears throat> the most possible different setups so with these brakes you can use you know a straddle cable and a cable hanger setup if you're using you know a single to double gyro or just a straight cable or you can use dual lowers like what I have and you can use two different NARPs to make those work you can use them as fronts with this barrel adjuster front cable adapter and whatever in between there so I'm thrilled that we are getting this close this is almost the production set. There is going to be a logo on these when they are done. We haven't had that included in the sample yet, but bearings in the back, stoked on that. Seven series aluminum CNC'd 
breaks. This is super, super exciting, and I think there's nothing more to do here than to install these and then go ride my bike. So I'm gonna show you guys the install process right now. All right, so here we are ready to put the new brakes onto the bike. We have this removable brake mount here. We just put through the brake arm and this process is fairly straightforward, but figured you guys might enjoy being along for the ride. This side is a little bit more difficult to show on camera, obviously, but uh, we're gonna get it. Now, putting this in, you should probably tighten it and not try to loosen it. That is a great tip. So that side is on, it is the lower side, so now we can grab the other brake arm here. We're gonna put the bolt through the brake arm, grab the mount, and put it through the brake arm as well. Now we're all ready to line everything up. Oh, I gotta rotate this brake pad, which needs an Allen wrench to get broken loose. Brake pad rotated and easy enough. Same process, just tightening the bolt into the frame. And then we'll be able to get our spring tension adjusted and things like that. Brake arm, brake mount, it all tightens at one time because of the design of the brake mounts on the s &M frames, which is very nice that it all does it in one like that. There we go. So I'm not going to set my brake pads yet because if I tighten this down before it's all locked in, you can see when it's not tight, it has a certain amount of wiggle and it's just not gonna be exactly right. So we got that pretty much tightened down so I can grab a crescent wrench and we're gonna back the camera away so I can do this a little bit easier. We got the crescent wrench here which we're just going to use to tighten the spring. So tightening this side spring, you can see here going this way is the opposite way we need to because the spring coils the other way. So we use the crescent wrench to tighten the spring a little bit and then we tighten down the bolt all the way to hold that spring tension tight. Not too bad. Some cases you can just back it off or tighten it a little bit with your your wrench while, after it's like somewhat tight. So I'm gonna go with this. These bearings make these brakes super smooth of a pull. You can see now some of that flexibility has been tightened out. That's why we don't do our brake pads yet. I think that's probably solid and I'll probably end up adjusting it finally later so there's that and now we should in theory because these are the same just a little bit updated be able to put our brake cable into it put our narp into the arm and from there we can adjust our tension out or our excess cable out up here and go from there but before we can do that we need to do the spring tension on the other side same exact process, except you just want to make sure that you're getting the, the spring wound the right way so that it springs correctly. And on this side, you definitely want to make sure that you're holding that crescent wrench on there and tightening the spring because the spring tightens the opposite way that the bolt tightens. So you have to hold it and keep it taut in order to have the spring tension the correct way. If you're doing this and you're noticing that your spring tension is pulling your brake pad closer to your rim, that means backwards and you have either the spring on the wrong side or you're just winding the spring the wrong way. So in this case, it's too tight right now. So if I tighten this cap or I tighten my bolt, it loosens my spring tension at the same time. So now that we've got the spring tension set on that side, we can go ahead and put our cable in with our NARP. And that should be set. And if we pull our brakes, 
they do indeed work. So there's gonna be some adjustment needed. These pads are different than the previous ones I had, so I may have to do some adjustment with the spacing there, but I'm gonna give you guys a back view so you can see what I'm doing with my brake pads. Totally different view than normal. I got a different lens here and you can see what I'm going to do with this brake pad in that I want to install this so that there is absolutely no towing in on the pad so that it's not angled like this and it's not angled like this. We want, I want it to be parallel with the rim so that when I pull these brakes, it hits the rim all at one time for a solid pull. I love the solid pull on a brake where you just feel that clapping of the pad against the rim. Just like that. I love that. How's this look? Perfect. So when that hits the rim, it hits it all at one time. And there we have it. The brakes are installed on the bike. I got the pads adjusted to the way I like the brake pool. And I'm excited to test out a closer sample to the production run of the Alienation Vice Grip brakes. I'm so stoked that they even exist because this just started as an idea of like, hey, there's not a ton of really good brakes out there in BMX. Maybe we could come together and I could get some feedback from different brake riders out there of what they would want in a brake and what could make the best possible brake. And then we went ahead and we tried to make it. So I hope you guys are as excited for this as I am. I don't know yet an exact date on when these will be out, but just know they are coming and it is going to be awesome when they're finally here. And if you have any kind of feedback for what you might like to see on breaks like this, let me know in the comments down below. Follow and subscribe to Alienation everywhere on the internet. They have been making so much great stuff lately from you know the sprocket you can see here, the hub, these tires are awesome, the black water uh, transfer decals on the Vandal rims. There's new stuff coming soon and so much stuff has come out recently. So follow along with that journey. I'm excited and grateful to be a part of it. So thank you to them for that. Thank you to them and Zach for working together with me on making a break a reality. And hopefully we'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.